What's going on guys? Well today we're gonna be taking a look at my brand fucking spanking new Distortions Unlimited masks that I just picked up. They're really badass. These are the limited edition Resurrection series masks where they only made like 24 of them. And they're signed by Jordi Shell and Ed Edmonds. Let me see if I can find the numbers and stuff. Huh? I don't feel like fucking with it, but I think one was 18 and one was like 22. And these masks are both really, really killer looking. They're the re sculpts of the classic uh, masks that Distortions put out in the 80s. There's like, I don't know, 20 or 25 masks in this series. I'd love to have the rest of them, but you know, unfortunately, most of them are sold out. I have seen some on the secondary market on on eBay and the prices aren't too bad on them you know they only are usually marked up by like fifty dollars or whatever so that's not too bad considering what they are but anyways let's get in and take a look first off is the keeper of the crypt it's a fucking really really badass looking mask really great looking love all the vein work and the horns there were a couple of minor pain imperfections on the horns here, not sure what was up with that. I believe these masks were produced quite some time ago, so maybe it has something to do with them sitting around for a long time. Other than that, the paint works impeccable on both of them. These are, you know, uncut masks that are meant to be display masks, not wearable. Nice thick latex, medium like thickness for like a the style collector's mask if you have any of the death studios masks they're not like the ultra thick ones but they're they're more like the like the shock monster like about that thickness or the the swamp witch if you have either one of those masks they're about as thick as those next to him is the solarian i just kind of got this mask because he was like the other one available i did want the keeper of the crypt really bad but I just got this one because it was the only other one they had on the website. But having it in person, I, I kind of actually like this one the best. He's really, really grown on me. I love the kind of purple tinge to him. The eyes look fucking killer. It's just a really, really interesting design. There's a lot of like weird like speckling going on. The vein works really, really cool looking. Really, really nice. Let me see if I can get them off the stand so you guys can see the... Right I don't know if you can see inside of theirs. Let's see. There's Jordu's signature. No, that's Jordu. That's Ed Edmonds. It says 22-24. Very, very cool. They do have both of these guys for sale on the... Distortions website They hadn't had like any of these on there like in a long time So I was really surprised when these two popped up the other day and I just like went ahead and Said fuck it and jumped on it even though I've been spending a shitload of Money on masks and I kind of didn't have the money to get these but I said you know fuck it you know But anyways uh these guys are really really fucking cool I'm glad I got them for my collection I also got this cool Distortions Unlimited book. It's pretty badass. Oh, so that's cool. Whoa, there goes the fucking Slarian tipping. I mean, um, Exorian tipping over it. Oh, that's cool. Pictures. Very, very cool. Does show a lot of the distortions masks in here, but I wish said, uh, the only thing that stops me from giving this like a five star review is I wish that they'd shown like uh, some of the catalogs in the back. This fucker doesn't want to stand up now. And, uh, you know, there should have been like, I said, there should have been like five or six pages of catalog photos in the back of it. But other than that, it's pretty fucking cool. But, anyways, if you like these masks, you know, you should, you know, get a move on getting them. There's only a few copies left as far as I can tell. And they don't pop up all that much on the secondary market. I wish that they'd go ahead and like, you know, put out more of these again. You know, 
I'm pretty sure they ought to at least pick like five of the most popular ones like Andromeda and Krim and the Astronaut and if you guys like that you know I'm pretty sure they'd sell out pretty fast if they did that and the Snow Beast and whoever but anyways these are fucking badass and I'm glad to have them in my collection. <laughs>